Vegan dental floss. Vegan dental floss. The last thing I feel like doing right now is going to Costco, but it needs to be done. No fruits or veggies is a pretty valid reason to go. But I just, I'm so tired since I got back. I don't know. Anyway, off we go. I'm going to go pick up my essential needs list. I'm still trying to enjoy summer and Costco has mittens on sale, you guys. That's the bad part about coming here is that they got like their winter jackets and stuff on sale and I'm just not there yet. I keep telling my mom that she needs metal straws and I found this cute little kit. It's only 10 bucks. I don't know how much metal straws are. But anyway, I thought they were cute and it would give her straws. And then there's Halloween. Oh my gosh. They have living basil. It smells amazing. Even with my mask on, we're always looking for fresh herbs. So I'm gonna give it a try. Something I've been wanting to do since we moved into the new place. Maybe I should trade all my veggies in for, you know, Halloween candy. I'm glad I wore my hoodie because even with it on, I'm absolutely freezing in here. Every time I have to go into the cooler, it's nuts. My fingers are frozen. So looking at cat litter, now that it's an issue, this stuff is a lot cheaper than the stuff that I bought. If you have a cat, what type of cat litter do you use? I'm not going to buy this today because I just opened the box that we have, but have you tried Simply Perfect? I'm going to have to research it before I jump on that bandwagon. I'd like to do something that's a little more eco-friendly, but um, I'm thinking trying wood pellets. Have you done that? If you have, leave me a comment, please, you guys. I'd love to know some tips on some better biodegradable uh, type products that you can use. I don't know if you can hear her, but she's trying to sell Dan Active yogurt, and it's hilarious because they can't give out samples. She's just able to sell it, I'm trying to convince people to take it, and she's so dynamic. She always has been. She's one of the best ladies in here. You can't pass these up when they're on sale. I love these things. And it'll put a breakfast supper on the meal planning menu. Look at that, you guys. It looks pretty healthy so far. Other than the little guilty pleasure of Reese's Puffs. Oh my. Do you like Reese's Puffs? probably the only sugary kid cereal that I'll eat, but I love it. I'm a chocolate peanut butter kind of gal. Like, yeah, seriously big time. Goldfish are on sale. I've mentioned a few times I only buy them. If they're on sale, the kids will be so excited. Two treats. I really want to just buy the taco seasoning because it's easier than making my own. And it tastes okay, but it has so many ingredients in it that I just don't like. It makes it hard. Healthier or easier? Mm. Why does it feel like I'm buying grapeseed oil every single time I come? Maybe I need to go walk back and rewatch my Costco vlogs because seriously, I feel like it's every two weeks. Is that possible? So that's it for my list. It's time to go. The lineup I noticed is really long. So it's time to go get in the lineup. There's the lineup there. It goes past though. Yeah. Turns out you can come in from the other end. Other people don't know that. So if you can come in from either end, those poor people are standing like 10 people long on the other side. And I am out. Done taking up my haul. Gotta go pack it into the car. All right, here's my Costco haul. I'll go through and show you what I bought. One of our favorite things are these pork sausages because they are great for our breakfast, supper, or breakfast. There's probably enough in there for two meals. Reese's Puffs, like I said, they're one of my favorite things. Straw for my mom. Goldfish, which the kids are very excited about. Raisins. Oh gosh, apparently I didn't make sure everything was standing up. We are sure that we have raisins, but we can't find them. Standby broccoli, more lunch meat, half and half for Kieran for his coffee, whipping cream. We have some birthdays coming up, and I may need this to make Caden's pie. He wants birthday pie. Apple cider vinegar because it was on sale. Iced tea, and it was on the list and on sale, which is perfect. 
oranges, frozen strawberries. I also have frozen whole berry blend, three berry blend. We make lots of smoothies, mayo, eggs, hamburger buns, icing sugar for depending on what I'm making for birthdays. I've got three bunches of bananas here. Two big contain two packages of three cucumbers because we're going for two weeks. Bell peppers, little tomatoes, the kids snack on those. Yogurt because they've been asking for it. Lemons again because they taste so much better fresh than the bottled stuff. Tomatoes. This is a golden honeydew, but it looks a lot like the hammy that my parents shared with us. Grapeseed oil. Like I mentioned, it feels like I buy it every time. Lettuce because I am craving the veggies. Two jugs of milk so that we can freeze one or two depending on how much we have left in the fridge. Carrots again. Our vegetable drawers are completely empty. Nothing in there, you guys. Vegan dental floss. Vegan dental floss. <laughs> That's Caden's joke. Celery. He's not a fan of celery. <laughs> Grapes. Another snack item. I'm craving fruit and veggies. Mini Bellas because we love to barbecue and I'm sure that we can use those for something. Apples. K pasa, they're a standard at our house. We always have them on hand to make a taco salad and also to snack on with my guacamole, which I don't know where it went. I'll find it here. Pecans. I've been craving pecans. Love them. Love, love, love. Here's my guacamole. Thanks, Tig. And uh, white bread for the kids. Uh, I also bought this basil plant which hopefully I can keep alive. I don't know how long I can keep alive, but it is, smells delicious, and I may plan some meals around having fresh basil. We might have to make some fresh pasta so that we can put this to good use and really benefit from the flavor of the freshness. It just makes my mouth water. And I bought avocados. I don't usually buy avocados and guacamole in the same trip, but the avocados were back down to $7.99 instead of $9.99. And I do like to make my own guacamole, but uh, this, we like to eat avocados straight up too, and in salads and things like that. And like if you just cut it in like squares, like um, mangoes and put salt on it. Yeah. It brings up the flavor. What are you excited to eat that's on the table? Breakfast? Um, yeah. The sausage. Uh, oh, yeah. The, Reese's Puffs. The breakfast burger thing. And the breakfast sausages. Yeah. You excited to have goldfish again? Yeah. yeah. No, we haven't. They're finally on sale. So, this is our Costco haul. Our total was $341.44, which is considerably cheaper than the other Costco hauls that I've done, considering the fact that we have a half of beef in the freezer and already have a bunch of uh, chicken, like I said. I was amazed. It seemed like every type of meat that they had was on sale at Costco today, which was kind of cool, but our freezer is so full that I wasn't able to pick up any of it or take advantage of it, which is kind of sad, but that's the way it goes. We are looking at buying an upright freezer for our basement so that we can put our Costco purchases in there and just have the deep freeze that we have downstairs as a meat deep freeze. That's the plan. We just have to put it into motion and make it happen so that I can take advantage of those Costco sales again. Now we're off to take care of all of this stuff before it melts everywhere because it's getting hot in here. It's a little bit of background Macarena. I like the hop. The hop without the turn. 